better for it. <laughs> the Democratic Party wants to give away everything for free. Everybody is just to get some votes. And uh, truthfully, I don't have a really good answer how I would have thought about this whole stuff. <laughs> Here's my olive branch. We all want one thing in common, which is we want affordable college. We don't want generations to be saddled with student debt until their 50s and 60s. And here's how I would do it. I would end all federal subsidies for college. Since the existence of federal subsidies for college, college tuition rates have increased at three times the rate of inflation. But if there were no subsidies at all today, Every college would face a choice. Lower tuition, go out of business. And I imagine a lot of colleges would choose both. But as we see more competitive colleges lowering costs, imagine if college was three or four thousand dollars a year or less. Imagine there were alternatives to college, exams and independent learning. Imagine that we could all access real higher education, not the lie you've been told by government that has saddled so many of us with debt but rather the truth, which is that without government, education could be affordable, and student debt would be a thing of the past. I'm a two-term uh, state legislator, so I do this all the time. I, I've been going door to door, went door to door this week. Um, the first Republican to win a Southern Democrat state that's been Democrat since the Civil War said that there are only four things that won him votes. Uh, secure borders, cutting taxes, uh, protecting gun rights and pro-life, and he said that if he couldn't win a vote on any of those four issues, he couldn't win that vote. Uh, there is something we can use that they can't call tactical voting, which is the 20 states that always go Republican. There it is. We can go to order. order, please. The 20 states that always go Republican, we can go to them and say, go to Democratic voters who normally vote Democrat. Say, look, uh, Democrats are not going to win this state. Democrats haven't won this state 30, 40, 50 years. If you, want to, if you want to stop Trump, the only way to do it is to vote libertarian. Uh, that works. I, I use a sledgehammer, though. All 10 of the 10 highest tax states have Democrat legislatures. All 11 of the 11 highest per capita debt states have Democrat legislatures. Every high crime ghetto in America uh, is run by Democrats. All 15 of the 15 highest crime counties are run by Democrats. Every city, county, and state in the country that's on the verge of bankruptcy is run by Democrats. I can easily speak to Democrats because I was a Democrat and for good reason I turned Libertarian. I actually, uh, I've been an activist for 20 years and I started by campaigning for Dennis Kucinich uh, for president because he was a pro-peace candidate. But I realized that the Democrat party was not a pro-peace party. So I switched to Libertarian party uh, because of influence of Ron Paul. And we have the greatest opportunity to uh, save this country and the world because the Libertarian Party is the pro-peace party. And we've become kind of a uh, free market image of what the Democrat Party used to be. We are actually the pro-peace, the peace, liberty, and justice party now. I get it. Life sucks. You work. You get paid not that much, you come home and your paycheck's already gone because you gotta pay all your bills. Do you know why? It's not because the billionaires are taking all the money from you. You're giving your money to billionaires. You go and you buy things and you get something for it. You buy a TV, you buy a car. You're giving them your money. But where's the rest of it going? It's going to government. Do you know how much money you're paying on property tax? I mean, you wanna look at your rent. The rent's too damn high, right? Look at your property tax. If you're renting, you're paying property tax. You're paying your landlord's property tax. It's 20 to 50% of your property, of, of your rent. Why is healthcare too high? Did you know that they manufacture insulin in this country? There's only three companies allowed to sell in this country. There's 47 that make it worldwide. And the stuff they sell in the US is exported to other countries and sold there for less than a tenth of the price because they can't get that much money in those other countries. But it's illegal for you to bring that same insulin that was manufactured in the United States back into the U.S. at that cheaper price. Why? Because the government says you're not allowed to do that. Is this really for your safety? Or are they trying to jack the prices and give money to all these billionaires running the healthcare industry? This is why 
you are broke and poor and pissed off that the healthcare system is busted, and Bernie Sanders is not going to fix it by stealing more from you and trying to give you something that's going to be another failed system. Lord, no, please, we are coming to closing statements, and after which you can all clap and boo. Uh, feel free to come up to us individually and do so. Uh, we are bumping up against the uh, 12:30 deadline, so. Let's start with closing statements, and Mr. Ashby, we're going to do one minute for closing statements.